The snap is out of the snapdragons. Do your snapdragon leaves look like this? You're looking at one bad case of rust. The spores on the back are a telltale sign. The spores pop and spread by wind or water to other snapdragon leaves, but it will not infect different plants. So, for instance, snapdragon rust won't infect roses or vice versa. But time for cleanup here. You can spray with wettable sulfur or fungicides early in the morning on sunny days, but these guys are goners. The snapdragons are too close together and too far gone. When you pull out stuff that has disease or virus, don't put it in your compost pile. That could spread the infection. Just throw it away. This window box is in constant bloom and full sun. Even so, it has had its share of problems this year. The Speedwell, or Veronica, is speeding headlong for disaster. Looks great all along the top, but the leaves, more trouble below. This isn't rust. See, no spores on the back. Pruning will have to do here. Try picking off the worst of the leaves. By the time it's this bad, spraying is really too late. The virus is top to bottom now. By sacrificing the leaves, you can save the beautiful flowers. Veronica is a perennial, so I'll cut it down after it flowers and try to keep my eye out for this problem earlier next year. So as you scan your garden, try to identify problems before they take hold and learn from what Mother Nature dishes out.